farmers. We're going to work hard for farmers. We've got the smartest, the hardest working people. small business owners is profitability and we've got to get ready for the Farm Bill of 2012. We need better price discovery, we need to get the onerous regulations off their back and we need to ensure there's a level playing field. And we need to do a better job about planning and budgeting. As you know this year we have no, we have no budget. And without a budget, there's no plan for job creation. And there's no plan for fiscal responsibility. And in a budget, we take into account our infrastructure needs. Because clearly we need to rebuild America, but that also includes our infrastructure. And I will tell you that a key part of our future is going to be energy. Energy. Energy that drives our economy. And we've got to balance our energy needs, the environment, and the economy. And we will do that. We will do that. We will work. With, we'll work with and invest in renewables, where renewables are profitable. We will do uh, responsible exploration of oil and, and natural gas. And we will that's right. We also need to invest in nuclear power. Nuclear power. Abundant and clean. We know the Navy's been using it since the 1950s. Right we, knew, we know that a nuclear power plant can power up to 300,000 homes, and it's good for our environment, it's clean. It's going to help us get off the foreign oil, which is going to help our nation. It's exciting time indeed for New York 20 and tourism. And tourism, you know. We love New York, but we need the rest of the country to love New York too. We need to be the best of the world. And let's make a bid to bring the Olympics back here to New York County. Well, let me conclude by saying this. Let me conclude by saying this, that let's learn from the lessons of history. You know, the last time that we had a Democratic president and a Republican Congress, we ended up getting a lot done. We not only balanced the budget, we had surpluses. And we also had meaningful welfare reform. So we need to reach out with this new majority that's going to come to Washington, D.C. We need to work together. We need to work together and not think about who gets the credit or for partisan advantage. What we've got to do is get the private sector economy going, balance this budget, and protect our freedoms. Our best days are still in front of us. Ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Yes, thank you. <laughs>